That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. Opting for the five iron. Good shot there, Beamer. And a chance to reach nine under for the championship with this putt. This is their look at birdie. This one's online. Well done. Take the birdie. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Time to see what this par four has in store. Wonderfully played. Henny, what's the player facing here? Yeah, she's looking at roughly, I'd say, 165. Going with the seven. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. 15 feet to the cup. Oh, yeah, this is tracking nicely. Oh, well played. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Getting ready to play their third. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Leading by six strokes after that one. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. In good form, birdie at the last, looking to add on to that. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This should play. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. Birdied their last hole. And back to the course with the live action. Putting for birdie. And down it goes. 11 under the card with the stretch remaining. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. Wondering if she's going to go for it. She could definitely get there and increase her lead. What's she facing with this shot, Henny? And from about 105 yards.
Come on, get down. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Five feet coming up to the cup. Yep, tracking nicely. And that will drop in for birdie. Sitting at 12 under par for the day. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Well, Rich, don't know about you, but my eyes are wide open standing here on the 17th tee of Old Marina Golf Club. Every player is going to be salivating to get here. This could be the easiest hole by a long shot on this golf course. The fairway, massive, most generous fairway out here. Second shot, a little bit uphill, but let's face it, just 506 yards, slightly uphill. I promise you, every player in this field is thinking eagle and nothing but. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And here we are with the third shot. Didn't that look good for a long time? Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Time for the second shot on the 18th. Going with the hybrid. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? She knows if she can get this putt to drop, she'll win the event. Looking really good, and what a way to win it. She seals the W with a great putt. Backing up the Brinks truck once again this week, filling it up. And it's worth taking another look at that one. Now, Rich, we saw from the get-go that this player was right on song this week. Just a class above. Luke, that was the performance of a lifetime. Hats off. They dominated every facet of the game. Never let their foot up off the gas. On behalf of Rich Beam, Henny Kuyak, John McCarthy, I'm Luke Elvey saying so long from 2K Sports.